Hi, this is Charlie from Path of the Bee. Today I want to set up my shaker table and do a few experiments with it. So the first thing I'm going to do is kind of want to show everybody um, how, how I set this up. So this is pretty lightweight and portable and uh, it moves around on these little stands. I'm going to get it uh, wiggled in the ground pretty good. Okay, so what I've done so far is I've got some sandbags on the bench here to give it some mass to keep it from wiggling. Um, I've hooked a cord into the power controller uh, for the table and then the cord for the pump and it's all rigged in. So now I need to uh, we need to level this up a little bit and I'll use a clinometer app on my phone. Okay. Two degrees. So I have two degrees there. Two degrees there, flat across the top. I think I got it. Okay, so the original intent, uh, what the setup is, is to have a big bucket under this hose here for tailings, um, and then your fine concentrates you collect in this hose here. We're gonna we're gonna mess with the settings on the table. So we've got our angles down. Okay, and a little more amplitude. Okay, I want to put some jet dry in here. A little jet dry on here. And I use it to clean off the plastic sheet here. And help reduce the surface tension. So that gets it clean, clean, and also, you know, reduces surface tension, so it should continue to run flat. We'll keep an eye on it, see what it looks like. Okay, so what I have here today is, uh, is a bag of sand I brought back from, from my road trip, um, and I got this from the Kern River when I was visiting with Romos from my adventures. And uh, we're going to try and, and run a little bit of that across this table and see what what we can get. It's super fine, but just in case, I'm going to I'm going to screen it through an eighth inch mesh screen here as I as I feed it in because it may have a few organics in it and that sort of thing. So I'm just going to put a scoop on here and tap my back and forth. And we'll take a look, and see what's happening. Nice and slow with my new modification. Definitely need a little bit more bump, so we're going to crank up the frequency. And, yeah, frequency. And then we're going to increase the amplitude. Slow this water down. It's barely coming out now. We'll shake it a little bit more on here. Oops, that's too much. Let's see what happens here. Super experiment. We're watch watching it go across the plate. So I've got a piece of plexiglass on here now so I can observe um, the different frequencies and how the table works. So it's definitely float the black sand right over to here. When I put it on there, it's moving some sideways. Um, I definitely needed to feed it slower, and definitely the blondes are coming up there. So, what I'm seeing with this, let me bring you in close so you could watch that go through there. Um, what I'm doing here. Okay, now that's what's staying on that table is black sand. It's just sitting there. Let me zoom in here quite a bit. Okay, so what I'm seeing here on this plexiglass, so I have a few scratches in it, but maybe I need to make my scratches a bit deeper. Let's uh, let's test out this theory here with another scratch. Okay, so I put a few more scratches in that table, and uh, we'll turn it back on with the same water setting we had before, and we'll go ahead and. Uh, 
we'll shake a little more sand on the table and we'll let it go and see what it see what happens here doesn't actually look like it's picking up my scratches thought it might but oh yeah there we go see that scratch there there's a line forming all right let's pause this here and let's look at this line here and see what we've got all right so um i'm going to try to flat this table out a little bit let's try it at at one degree okay so i flattened this out to one degree and uh we're gonna other settings are the same all right here we go put a little on there and uh we'll see if it'll how it'll work off the table okay so with the flatter angle um seems to be more stuff is staying on the table black sand and the concentrates are moving sideways Okay, I want to absolutely look at this over here on this edge of what's moving over here. Well, that's a piece of gold there. Caught in that little scratch moving over. I think what I want to do is I think I need to I need to run this through this table first before I add this plate in. So I'm gonna I'm going to peel my plate out of here. So this is pretty flat. This is only one degree. What happens here? A little bit harder of a bump. And uh, see if we can wash some of that off of there. Let's shake another batch on there. See what we get. Remember, this is super flat now, and uh, and I got a nice little line. This is just my original mat. The gang's washing off. I could probably clean up a little bit more, just to touch more water. So what we're going to do here, threw a little bit more water at it, and uh, we're checking out what's going on. It's washing over here pretty good. Concentrates are heading up over there. Okay, so got a couple scoops in here. And I'm going to take my a uh, little light brush, and I'm going to I'm going to sweep this all out to the to the far end there and capture it all and then we're going to run that back through on that scratched plexiglass and see what we can get um, maybe even slow the water down a bit and see if we can concentrate this even further okay so I got all the concentrates out of that bucket and put them in my gold pan here and I'm going to turn this back on with my plexiglass in here and I'm going to try and apply this slowly up here to this upper end and, and let this work out of here there's a bunch of big old ugly crud okay here I got a squirt bottle Aha. All right. we're just going to let this ooze out of here slow like Let it separate and move and do what it's got to do. The harder scratches there seem to be picking up a, a definitely a lighter colored line, and so I'm assuming that that's some of this micro fine gold. So the problem is, is that there's a current coming off of this corner that's causing it to push back up there. Um, you can see that swirl there in the bottom. So this is going to be a problem with this. Uh, with this plexiglass is that it's it's gonna need something to kind of maybe I need to divert the water flow off the end so there isn't any down here change it 
here somehow. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the results that I've got so far with this experimental piece of plexiglass here on top of the shaker table um, for the super fine stuff. I still have to fiddle with it a little bit and figure out, you know, how to get a nice deep scratch in there and a few other things of angles and I'll keep messing with it, but it appears that I'll be able to perfect it and make it work pretty good. So, um, well, I just thought I'd kind of bring you in, Sherry, and let you know that I'm, I'm still fiddling with this thing and we're still making improvements and it's getting better. So, all right, well, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.